Japan is blazing a trail by acknowledging that youth does not necessarily equate to inexperience or a lack of wisdom when it comes to governance. The election of Ryosuke Takashima, a 26-year-old mayor in Ashia and the youngest ever in Japan's history, is just one example of a growing trend towards a more diverse and younger political leadership. Takashima received over 45% of votes cast, almost 20 percentage points more than the incumbent Ma Ito. Ryosuke Takashima is the youngest city chief ever elected in the country, breaking the record held by Kotaro Shishida, who was elected as mayor of Musashimurayama, a city on the western outskirts of Tokyo, in 1994 at the age of 27. In a country where re-elected incumbents make up a staggering 91%, Takashima's victory as a new candidate was unexpected. But with his background in environmental engineering, volunteering, and a passion for dialogue, he's ready to take on the challenges of depopulation and low birth rates. And with his relatable youth and fresh perspective, some are hoping that he'll be part of a new wave of diverse politicians who can reinvigorate Japan's democracy. This shift is indicative of a broader global trend, where the younger generation is increasingly stepping up to tackle the issues that will affect their future. By embracing a more youthful political leadership, Japan is paving the way for other countries to follow suit and tap into the energy and innovative thinking of the next generation. It remains to be seen how these young leaders will fare in addressing Japan's long-standing problems, such as the aging population, labor issues, and territorial disputes. However, it is heartening to see that the country is taking steps to empower its youth and create a more inclusive and representative government. In a rapidly changing world, it is more important than ever to have leaders who are forward-thinking, adaptable, and able to navigate complex challenges. By embracing a more diverse and youthful leadership, Japan is positioning itself for a brighter and more resilient future. Do you think this is the biggest shakeup in Japan in a while? With a fresh generation of politicians taking the reins, what kind of future do you imagine for Japan? And if global tensions continue to escalate, do you think these new leaders will be up to the challenge? I'd love to hear your thoughts on this.